day the liquor been taking the pain away i heard you was giving your chain away that's kind of like giving your fame away what's wrong with you i sit in a box where the owners do a boss is a road that i've grown into i love you to death but i told you the truth i can't just be with you and only you yeah. i got one girl you got one and that is the only two man how many times have i shown it through man how many nights i've been woke swerving the pot holes not trying to fuck up the wheels on the road okay funny how life goes he thought he was sick now we wiping his nose okay you give them your soul, you blow up and they say you're selling your soul, okay? They want my life exposed, they want to know about the highs and lows. Well, some of all I did was rest, okay? And New Year's all I did was stretch, okay? Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Okay guys, so this might be my last vlog before the baby. I have one week left, literally eight days left now. As of tomorrow, seven days. So I think this will be my last vlog being pregnant. You know, I'm still gonna be vlogging Avi, but last vlog being pregnant. Can you believe it came by? It came and it went so fast. But anyways, this morning I got up and got ready. I got a fill for my lashes. Me and Curtis are supposed to be going downtown in a second, actually. Um, right now it's like 1.25. We just wanna go downtown to do a little bit of shopping. Keyword, little, because there's not much that I can buy currently in my current pregnant state. But I think I'm gonna get a few little things for after the baby because i didn't go up in a size i honestly didn't i'm still pretty much a medium um it's just that i'm a medium with a belly now <laughs> it's just gonna be nice to just be on the road maybe we'll have some dinner or lunch or something and yeah you know my last little bit of outings that i get to get to have so i think i want to go to indigo as well because there is a blanket that i want to buy for our room because i want to kind of redo our room a little bit to feel a little bit more luxe um, I got some new pillow covers for our decorative pillows from Amazon. I'll show you guys right now, actually. Okay, so cur currently I'm in the guest room, okay? So you guys have been seeing the guest room very frequently, baby drawer over there and stuff. I got these huge 26 by 26, I think it is, inch pillows. I think they're 70 by 70 centimeters or 26 by 26 inch pillows, big decorative pillows from um home sense like these are actually like huge they don't look huge but they're huge yeah but i want some big ones in my bedroom now the ones in my bedroom are a little bit smaller and fluffier as you guys see all the time but i want these ones now so what i did i went on amazon and i saw that amazon has the covers so that's all i bought i bought a pack of white but i'm not going to do the white yet so i'm going to save the white for when i get like some more decorative pillows um so i can kind of offset the white but instead i'm going to be doing this kind of like beige linen so yeah i want to do this in our bedroom because it's like a nice beige i've done everything that i need to do baby wise so that is good i have a to-do list of everything i wanted to do prior to the baby coming and everything is pretty much checked off the list this was my whole entire list i have cleaned the house organized my drawers in my office the linen closet guest room closet my drawers and closet organized the extra baby stuff organized hospital bag baby shelf in the kitchen for the bottles and stuff you guys saw that laundry room that's dealt with and then underneath the bathroom sink i dealt with all that i had to make a hundred bottles and that was 400 ounces of oils which i did thank the good lord this took me like three days i wanted to redo my office that is not happening because i still don't have a vision of what i want in here to look like i'm not going to be at my studio during my break i took some of my favorite things home with me and a lot of my brushes home i think i took all brushes home with me and foundations so that i could just service my clients at home little by little until i go back into my studio like i said i brought home some stuff from my studio this whole bin right here is full of stuff that i took out of my drawers i do have my whole makeup kit as well so this is just more so like some extra foundations and like stuff to re-up with like extra powders and i did get some new stuff it's in a sephora bag because i also went to sephora i just got these two brushes these two jaclyn hill brushes they are the jh46 brushes which are the jaclyn hill and morphe brush collab i got four of the trendsetter lip liners these this is just a dark brown lip liner i also got two of these lip liners in the shade vibes i already have one open also got sweet tea lip liner which is another must-have and then i also got some eyebrow pencils they are in the shade cold brew and then i got these two lip glosses this is mars and this one is saturn so i got two of these and i got one of the saturn that's just a quick little inventory restock kind of haul um i still do have a few more things to get because when i get back into it which won't be for now per se it's gonna be sooner than later but i just want to make sure i'm not worried about this stuff down the road and there was a sale so i wanted to take full advantage of the sale so anyways i'm gonna go Shawty, we get it, cause you know
don't need no plug. High fashion, like go yard, D wagon, or the rover. I put some ice on you cause you gotta go. Home. I know I gotta get my shorty on go. Got that ass to the floor. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You ain't gotta do it on the D, nigga, go home. But let me tell you, I like him a lot, man. I wanna start at the top and the bottom, man. You know you wanna shoot with the red and the bottom, man. You know I like when you ride at the top, man. She wants your name, she needs the yo yo. I'm only doing cash, I just need promo. I pull up to the high rise, I'm in the 4-4. Yeah, it's like Coco. I got a feeling I keep it inside my heart. Hey guys, so it's the next day. Yesterday, as you guys know, we went downtown. Um, we did a bunch of walking around. We were planning on doing like shopping, but there wasn't much that we saw that we wanted. Curtis like got a t-shirt. This, this is all I bought for myself. I bought like this little uh, mini Nike bag only because I was copying my sister. She has this and I think it's so cute. So I got one for myself. I just finished washing my hair. Um, it is a sew-in like you guys saw in my maintenance vlog. It was getting a little bit, you know, when it's a little greasy, not so fresh and flowy. I had a doctor's appointment today and they said that I was three centimeters dilated. Three centimeters dilated, but I'm not feeling any pain or anything. So yeah, I don't know. It's just a waiting game at this point. She said between today and Friday. Today is Tuesday. So yeah, between today and Friday, the baby can come. But currently, it's actually Curtis's mom's birthday. So we are going to be celebrating on our roof. We're doing like a little movie night. And yeah, that's what I'm going to do right now. It kind of sounds weird to say because it's like I'm three centimeters. I should be, I don't know, some people are at the hospital at this point. But I am just taking it hour by hour, you know. I'm gonna go upstairs right now and I'm gonna show you guys how we have upstairs set up, but it's a little cute, cozy setup, so I'm gonna show you guys. Your body driving crazy. Your body need a license fit. Your body are too tight and neat. Anybody who got eyes can see. She just wanna dance and tea. She just wanna dance and tease. She just wanna dance and tease me. She just wanna dance and tease me. She just wanna dance and tease me. Listen, you've been missing since 2000. Good morning guys so it's about 11 o'clock the next day um i just kind of want to recap the last few days because i feel like i wasn't making sense last night me and curtis had gone downtown because we wanted to do some shopping like i had told you guys and we went to eat at warehouse if you're from toronto you know warehouse so yeah we just spent the day down there because i'm like i i love downtown honestly we used to live downtown and i love it like it has my whole entire heart so when we were down there we're like let's just eat walk around and do stuff that we used we used to do but anyways a lot of walking okay also went to nordstrom because we wanted to get a reed diffuser for our house like anybody that comes to our house knows that we're big on the scent in our house okay so we did end up going to joe malone and we picked out one called i think pomegranate noir i was in indigo as well and i picked up this beautiful woven blanket that I've been eyeballing for like over a year now. But I didn't buy it because it was $280, okay? And I'm not buying a throw blanket for $280, or at least not at this stage of my life. But it was actually on sale for $125, so I ended up buying it. So it looks like this. It's a nice chunky knit blanket. I'm gonna open it in a second because I want to wash it before I put it on the bed, of course. And then yesterday was kind of busy because I had a doctor's appointment and then Curtis's mom, um, it was her birthday yesterday. Happy birthday, Anne. But we did a movie night for her. So that was going on last night. So I was a little bit busy. But you guys got to see a little bit of the of the decor and stuff. And I said, you know what? Maybe I'll go into labor tonight, which was last night. I decided to wash my sew-in so that it could be fresh and silky, you know? <laughs> so that's what I was doing yesterday when you guys um, saw me straightening my hair. And then I re-straightened it this morning because yesterday I was really rushing. Like rushing to just collect my thoughts and and get myself together kind of but yeah i went to bed nothing happened and here i am this morning so i said to myself i'm gonna get up and edit and that's what you guys saw me doing i got up i edited a video and i just finished and i just uploaded it so that you guys have something to watch along with this video as well while i have the baby <laughs> i'm making sure you guys have like one or two videos to watch while i take a 
quick little break anyways that is the recap of the last like two days basically because i feel like the vlog didn't really make sense and i was talking so fast yesterday but yeah so that's pretty much it last week i told my ob that yeah my mucus plug um came a little bit like there was a little bit of mucus but today this morning it was like full full blown like out you know so i told my mom too and she's like she said all of her labors were silent there's four of us so she said all of her labors were silent and she didn't have to go to the hospital till she was like seven eight centimeters that's when she started to get contractions so maybe that'll be the same case for me because i still don't feel anything the only thing happening now is i have a little bit of lower back pain but it's, it comes for a while then it goes for a while i don't know if that's contractions back contractions whatever but whatever it is it's not bothering me so i'm gonna wait until the pain comes um she's saying i probably won't feel anything until my water breaks and usually when your mucus plug comes out followed by that is your water breaking so i'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning wash this blanket change out the sheets and duvet covers on the beds and yeah bedroom so i put the 24 by 24 pillows in here with the white covers um i got these white pillow covers from amazon like i told you guys and then also guys i put the blanket on the bed i'm loving the blanket honestly so so far this is what i'm working with i just love the um material of it it's not like it's not like a yarn or wool or anything like that. It's more of a polyester really nice really luxe okay love it okay so update there is no baby as yet um today is what day today is thursday so my doctor did say between the day of my appointment which was tuesday and tomorrow she's on call tomorrow so i would prefer to be in labor while she is there because there was even more mucus today so yeah currently it's almost 7 p.m so we're gonna go in about an hour but i'm hungry so i'm gonna go eat right now i had stuff to do i edited another video it's for my virtual classes i have one more to edit but i'll do that like after the the baby comes so i have two ready to go right now and then one more and then i'll launch it sorry i'm being so slow with this but um yeah i'm having no pain no pressure no nothing i still have no pressure like no pressure down there no pain down there nothing so the only thing that i'm nervous about and why i'm really actually going to the hospital is i know sometimes your amniotic fluid could just be leaking like not necessarily that your water will break like the movie said Psh it can leak like slowly leak so i'm just concerned about that because if i'm not having any pain or any contractions and i'm dilating suppose my water is leaking i don't want that either because that's an infection for the baby and yeah it's not safe so i would rather be on the safe side if i'm somebody who doesn't experience a lot of pain during labor or my labors are silent like my mom's i would rather know what's going on with the baby ahead of time the worst that can happen is they tell me nothing's going on and i go home so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna see what's going on fun fact as well me and curtis still haven't decided really on a boy name <laughs> we have two boy names in mind but i don't know i'm more feeling one he's more feeling the other he's feeling both of them one of them is his suggestion one is mine no, I just really don't know. I don't know.
I lied. <laughs> I didn't even go to the hospital yesterday. I was so tired after um, you guys saw me on the exercise ball. I was so tired and it was almost nine o'clock by then. I didn't really realize. We said we we're gonna leave at eight. Eight o'clock came and went and then it was almost nine. And honestly, we were just like, forget it. We'll just go in the morning, first thing in the morning. So we said we'll go at 6 a.m. Set an alarm. The alarm didn't even go off. So now it is 9.42. We just finished taking a shower and everything got all of our stuff not even all of our stuff like so we already had our hospital bag in the car and stuff from like three weeks ago and last week we cleaned out and shampooed the car and put the car seat and put the car seat base in the car so now we're just gonna bring down the car seat and some snacks and that's it so Okay guys, so we have not been admitted to the hospital. I am now only three and a half centimeters, which is kind of wild, because this is what, Tuesday, Tuesday I was three, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, four days now. I do have like some back pain. That's the pretty much the only thing, to be honest with you. So she said, because I have the back pain, it's like the start and the exercise balls in the back. But she said it's a start, so yeah. She did another sweep, but it was like actually a little bit more painful this time because she was going so far and stretching so wide but she was saying that she could feel the baby's head of course but um she said she's there all night and she said i might have to come back tonight but not to come back until i have contractions which is fine i i have peace of mind now anyways that you know things are good which is not a problem for me it's not like i'm far from the hospital anyway but she said that i should start walking around some more or walk around some more today or whatever so Anywho, me and Curtis are gonna go on the road now. We're gonna go downtown. And yeah, so that will be a lot of walking. How do you feel, Dad? Pretty good. I just wanna meet my beat. Whatever. <laughs> that is the update, guys. We're headed back downtown. <laughs> Anyways, I'll catch you guys when we get down there. <laughs> 